If you are a guy going up to a girl in the gym, you are not just looking to make friends. 99 times out of 100, you are looking to smash. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, okay? We all know this. So there's this guy named Greg Duchette. Is that how you pronounce his name? I have no clue. I'm going to do it anyway. Greg Duchette with 1.78 million subscribers on YouTube. He is a fitness YouTuber, I suppose. Uh, he has, uh, not going to lie, he has a good physique. Not going to lie. Um, his voice could uh, break glass. Is That's how bad it is. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the reason I know this is because last stream uh, from current stream, uh, we actually tried to watch a video of his and it did not go very well. Uh, we found him very annoying and uh, didn't like him. So we're watching another video of his, though, because it had moist critical in the thumbnail. And the video is called Men Are Tired of Being Played. And I'm very interested to see what's going on here, because anything to do with uh, moist critical is probably pretty good drama. You know what I mean? Because moist critical is a very interesting person. Charlie. Yeah, I love Charlie. Um, and I've, like I said in the last segment, I've been trying to get more into the drama sphere. So let's take a look and see what's going on. This is not a small channel, okay? I mean, this could go to uh, Charlie himself. I mean, this could reach his eyes. So, you know, we got to stay in the loop, right? Anyway, without further ado. And so, yeah, if you're dressed like you're going to the beach, expect someone to look at you for two seconds. And if you're recording yourself and posting it on social media, well, you actually want people to look at you. Okay. Coach Greg, and today's video is about Penguin Z Zero. This he means moist critical. This needs to stop. And so what's been trending as of late is women going to the gym and filming men to try to put us down. And so he's an avid gym. Thank you so much, Daharamba, for the raid. I appreciate you very much. The best email on Twitch, even better than mine. Go subscribe if you want it. Jim Gore, like the rest of us, and he weighs in on his opinions on what's going on with people filming in the gym. So no one even knows that I'm ripped until I do like a flex and it ends up being a jump scare. God damn, hold on. Jim. So no one even knows that I'm ripped until I do like a God fucking damn, dude. Jesus. That's insane. That's pretty, that's pretty sick. Flex and it ends up being a jump scare. And did you see his bicep? Highly impressed, and not only that, the guy studied physiology in university, and so he's highly intelligent, knows all about the human body. And so, is is that sarcasm? It is an impressive bicep. It is an impressive bicep. Most people do not have this kind of bicep. Like I know that the physiology university comment was underhanded, but I did study physiology. Just FYI, okay. And uh, that's an impressive bicep. So fuck you, Duchette. Intelligent knows all about the human body. And so it's great to see the guys promoting health and fitness harder than last time. I'm not saying everyone that goes to the gym is an angel that can do no wrong. There definitely are creepy people that go there. I've certainly seen my fair share of weirdos in my days. And so we're not saying that this doesn't exist, that there are in fact creeps in the gym, but 99% of the guys, it's just guys going for normal human interactions. It's absolutely normal for someone to watch you doing a set. They might be learning from you or to come and say hi would you like me to add a plate on the bar for you do you need a okay straight real talk here if you're a girl and a guy approaches you at the, at the gym to just say hi we all know what's happening there he's hitting on you okay we all know that 99 times out of 100 he's hitting on you okay I, that's just how it is and they are right to assume that now obviously if you're going up to a girl Asking if she's almost done or uh, if you want to help her with a weight or whatever, like that's whatever. But if you're just going up to strike a conversation, they're going to correctly, usually correctly assume that you're trying to, uh, you know, take him out to dinner or something or whatever you kids do these days. A spot. These are not <laughs> creepy things to say. Saying <laughs> hi and offering your assistance, it should be considered a kind gesture, not the action of a creep. And so, yeah, if the guy gets on all fours and tries to sniff your cookbook while you're doing a back squat, then yeah, he's a creep. He shouldn't be in the yeah. gym. He's gone too far. He's clearly crossed the line. But okay, but but also I would posit that you don't have to be 
literally this guy in order to be a creep. Like, there are other ways you can be very uh, unsavory in the gym. He's clearly crossed the line. But if somebody looks at you, that is not them being a weirdo. They are not stalking you. And you need to calm the... And you need to calm the cookbook down. Now, I'm going to show you the biggest one that I really think started really blowing this trend up. And so what he's referring to is a video done by Joey Swole on Instagram. Why don't you just let him say it? You thought about that? Also, holy shit. As well as I had done on YouTube, of which a girl's doing hip thrusts and calls this guy a weirdo, that he should be going to jail, that she's underage, only 21, and that she'd like to rip out his pee pee so that he can no longer procreate. Because heavens forbid a guy walks up to you and offers to help you in the gym. Who's this? Greg Duchette. I'm glad you asked. That is Greg Duchette. Feral, 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 like cookbook. Feral. The next video came in the last year about a girl who accused a man of being a pervert. Guy was sitting back on a machine across the gym, looked over at a woman for two seconds. They had a verbal interaction. Do you need something? Do you need something? I remember this one. Okay, I thought so. She was stripping down in the gym. Guy looked over for two seconds. She's filming herself, and so he's probably thinking, what's going on? I'm curious. He looks over, thinks he's a pervert. She thought she was in the right, made a TikTok video, went viral, but for all... I agree with this guy that this video that this lady made is very annoying, but I'm more annoyed at him for some reason. It's I like, I can't even put my finger on why. He's just an annoying individual. All the wrong reasons. As of late, it's gone viral. The notion that men can no longer even look at someone in the gym. We can't even glance over, let alone look men at are someone doing an exercise. Men are in the gym. This is and true. heaven forbid that person is filming themselves, well, they're going to make a video on TikTok only to shame the person who looked. And so everyone now is scared. I don't want to be the next victim being told I'm a weirdo, a creep, or even a pervert. And so, of course, I got a bike race, hence... Okay, but, like... Everyone knows that you're not like if you look at the general trend of people who are uploading this shit like most people Don't believe them, you know, like most people don't say like oh the guy looking at her was a creep Most people are on your side, which you know that and that's why you're milking this for content endlessly I'm not even saying that he's necessarily wrong, but he's milking this right like this is like people who are making content about this shit is, is they're just milking it at this point It's so annoying the attire taking my geo 2 max gonna help me oh, race good, good. faster I than last time as well got as a my hardcore stim pre-workout these two in combination make me race faster than last time get me in better shape more fit ward off say, age related wow. illnesses and so how can you go wrong the main ingredient nmn banned by the fda in the united states but still legal at this point and so i strongly suggest you get this what is it nmn hold on he's probably got a link to it get my supplements all right, was this harder than last time? Push yourself beyond your limit. Shop supplements. <laughs> He's talking about the pre-workout, right? Pre-workout. $55. $60 with 20% off? Fuck that. What is even in this? Itch with beta alanine. Non-itch, no beta alanine. Okay. Not gonna lie, it has a very attractive label. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? I'd probably pick that up off the off the store shelf. I love Skittles. I love Skittles. I haven't had Skittles in forever. What's this got? Pre 2.0 supplement facts. L-citrulline, beta alanine, beta anhydrous. D don't ever let this fool you. All of this is just amino acids. That's all this is. Okay, so anything that says it has essential amino acids, it it's basically this. Okay. Uh, brands, th there's a difference between essential and branch chain. <clears throat> don't worry too much about it unless you're like a bodybuilder. Um, in fact, I'd actually have to go back and, and remind myself. I got to study that shit. The beta alanine does cause itchiness, so that's in my pre-workout, and it makes me a little tingly. But this is just your standard pre-workout. Like, there's nothing special in this. It's got caffeine, which, of course, caffeine and hydrous got to make it sound fancy. Only 100 milligrams. That's che that's that's weak shit. Weak sauce, dude. Yeah, I know. This, this is overpriced as fuck. Do not buy this shit. This is the number one supplement Hello. I would recommend. Use code GREG to get 10% off. Click the link in the description. I don't even know what kind of pre-workout to get. The cheapest. Get the cheapest. What do you expect people to do at the gym? 
just turn around and stare at a wall. If you want to go really cheap, get a fucking energy drink. Well, when they're not even kidding. Set, like it's Cookbook. Blair Witch. And so, I mean, it's ridiculous. You glance over. When you're at the gym, you look at everybody. What are we supposed to do? Stare in the mirror at ourselves the whole time? Then you know what'll happen? Jan and Vosh bought lock and load. Uh, they claim it worked for them, but it did not work for me. Oh, it's decreased cum volume. I heard about Zan doing that. I thought Vosh say, was saying it was stupid. Um, it, the, its main ingredient is zinc. If you want to cum more, just take zinc supplements. 50 milligrams of zinc uh, a day. It's good for you. But also, it can make you nauseous. So eat it. Uh, eat something with it is recommended. And people will film me and say, look at the narcissist. He just stares at himself in the mirror the whole time. Yeah, because they're scared to look at anyone else because somebody's going to make fun of him and call a weirdo. So you Critical made one vid about this whole thing and that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, while it's relevant, make a video about it, right? And then move the fuck on. Like, this guy's, this is at least this guy's second video about it. 50 milligrams to recommend a daily dose for zinc. I don't know what the recommended daily dose is. Uh, people use oral zinc to help treat colds. It can decrease the effectiveness of certain drugs and cause side effects. I actually did not know that. Um, I know the side effects thing, not the, I guess this is true of a lot of drugs. Recommended daily amount of zinc is 8 milligrams for women and 11 milligrams for men. Adults should avoid taking more than 40 milligrams of zinc each day. When you take it orally, 50 milligrams is kind of the standard that it comes in. So, you could get low-dose zinc, though. If it's mussing up your stomach, get low-dose zinc. Keep in mind also that because of the stomach lining, not all of the zinc is going to be absorbed. Obviously, if you're injecting it directly into your veins, you're going to get all 50 milligrams, and that can cause some serious issues. Well, not serious, serious, but it can cause issues. Um, but the stomach lining blocks a lot of it. Depending on depends on which zinc salt. Some of them can be 15, others can be like 50. I take 50. It messes up my stomach a little bit. It makes me a little nauseous, but it's whatever. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. What can you do? Stare at yourself? Bad. Stare at the people? Bad. Look at someone for one second? God, it bad. sounds like he's trying to do a cartoon voice. It's so bad. After all, you have the right to look at everyone in the gym. It's not against the law to look at someone for two I am voice shaming today. seconds. Where, where, where have we all gone wrong? What, what's happened to the world? He sounds like Gilbert Gottfried. That's an insult to Gilbert Gottfried. What's gone wrong is social media. Let him talk People for like five no seconds, know man. They communicate. They don't know how to actually talk face to face. They can swipe left or right and perhaps DM someone or message them. And put a motor. The problem is the Facebook and the TikTok and the Twitter. You know the Twitter, the bird app, with the uh, the Elon Musk boy, the the children and they phones. They that's the bad. That's the bad. The cons and icons and all that con stuff, but they don't know how all to that say. Con hey, stuff. What's your name? My name is such and such. I think you look good. I am interested in what you're doing. I just wanted to say hi because you look interesting. Don't ever walk up to a girl and say, I think you look good. Like, just with nothing else. I... Like, I get what he's getting at, but that's... That can be pretty creepy. To me. I wanted to learn from you. Hi, I'd like to introduce myself because I'm looking to make friends. I don't like being alone. Perhaps you want... If you are a guy going up to a girl in the gym, you are not just looking to make friends. 99 times out of 100, you are looking to smash. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to fuck, okay? We all know this. To meet people in the real world. And if you like... You're going to get Reddit incels going up to girls now, thinking that they can make friends with them at first, and then go and fuck them later. And they're going to walk away from that and go complain to their Reddit friends and be like, I tried to talk to the female in the gym, and she turned me away. She said that she had a boyfriend. I just wanted to be friends, and she said she had a boyfriend. And I'm upset about that, even though I just said I wanted to be friends. And she has a boyfriend for some reason. I'm mad. I'm very mad about that for no particular reason. Like, you're not just trying to make friends. I'm sorry. Obviously, there are exceptions, but that's just not how that usually works. Like the gym, would you not want to date someone in the gym? You have the same interest. No, bad. You do not pick up women at the gym. You don't do that. Very rarely will that ever work out for you. If you want to strike up a conversation with a girl, compliment their shirt or something, okay? And if it goes from there, if she sows interest, and if she does not say that she has a boyfriend or just wants to be friends or whatever else, fine, go for it. But you are not at the gym to pick up women. You don't go to the gym to pick up women. You just don't, okay? You don't do that because several reasons. One, you both probably go to that gym regularly. 
okay? And she doesn't want to feel like she's trapped in here with this guy who's going to be coming back with her almost every day of the week, okay? Um, two, it's weird, okay? That's it. It's, it's weird. Those are my several reasons. Why do these dude bros give the worst advice to men? Because they suck and they're stupid and they have nothing in their skulls. Besides, automatically like, and what else you do oh you should only date online yeah that's for the chats because we all know the research unless you're six foot plus what chance you have girls would rather date an ugly tall guy than a i cannot deny that i am six foot plus and i did get my i did get my girlfriend online short good looking manlet and so your chances to meeting the woman of your dreams online well unless you're chad your chances are slim to none and so it's really sad to see i hate the way it's becoming but it's simply the way of the world now. And so, yeah, we're wow. going to look at you. Wow, this is just straight red pill shit. It's just straight red pill shit. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, of course he's an incel. He's a gym cell, dude. This is what you call a gym cell. Somebody who's really muscular and could probably smash any girl that he wants to. Or I don't know if he's gay or whatever. He, to be honest, he kind of I'm profiling him a little bit. He sounds like he is. But he could smash literally anybody he wants, is my point. And, like, I... I <laughs> A bit fruity, yeah. And he, uh, like, like, he's so stuck on this idea that, like, uh, you know, girls just don't know what, what they want anymore. Or, like, there's a problem with girls in society, right? You, especially if you're half naked dressed in a tight pair of shorts with a thong up your arsehole and you're wearing a bra strap. And so, yeah, if you're dressed wow, like you're going clothes. to the beach, Wait. expect... That's why I don't want kids and natural selection, but what? This is just a gym outfit, dude. Like, you're literally wearing... Like, you're literally wearing a tank top also. This is just a gym outfit, dude. Someone to look at you for two seconds. And if you're recording yourself and posting it on social media, well, you actually want people to look at you. And so don't bullshit us. Don't pretend you don't want people to stare. You do. You want people to look at you. Why else would you do yourselves up this way? Why? Because they feel like it? Because they're doing it for themselves? Yeah, no, he sounds horrible. You have cleavage popping out in see-through shorts where I can see what you ate for breakfast. You clearly want people to look. <laughs> that's and pretty I'm not funny. saying that means that people should stare at you for a uh, minute. Oh, come on. That's a good meme. That's ear. funny. But don't you expect to get looked at? Is that not what you want? So this guy gets called out because- No, not always. And that's really bold of you to assume and also very telling, you fucking attention whore. Walks across the track she's about to do lunges on and looks at her on the way by is because he's going by her path on the track. When you're walking by someone, it's normal to look at them. When you cross the street and a car is coming, do you avoid looking at the car or do you look at the car? I don't understand. Wait, is he on critical side? Because if he is, then like- why did he bother making this video with critical in it? It doesn't make any sense. Are to make sure they're not going to bump into you. And does it not make sense for humans to look at what's going on? You look at something, you process it so that you can understand to make sense of what's going on in our environment. And yes, if a girl is extremely attractive and she's dressed in this way, of course, you're going to want to look more. You're programmed to do so. Wow, she's incredible. She looks great. Your body, eyes, it wants to look. It doesn't make you a pervert if you look at someone for two whole seconds. This guy, again, just glances in her direction. Jesus Christ. Briefly looks at his phone and puts it away. And apparently that's getting called out for being weird, saying he checks nothing on his phone. He could have just been checking the time. How does she know what he's looking at? On wait, wait, wait. No, he's not on critical side. I remember because at the beginning of the video, uh, Critical is, uh, was saying that, like, the dude who is posting about it constantly is weird. Is it weird to want to strike a conversation with people you find attractive at the gym? It's not weird to want to do that. I think the weird part comes in, frankly, it's between a, a man and a woman. That's just society. If you're a guy and you go up to a girl at the gym and try to strike up a conversation, the immediate assumption is going to be he wants to sleep with me. That's just how it is. Okay. Now, if you can make that work, if you can, you know, have a normal fucking human conversation with somebody without making it obvious that you're just trying to get in their pants, even if that is what you're trying to do, then whatever, you know? And if it works out, then great. And if not, you better fucking be fine with just being friends, you know? Don't then, like, don't end the conversation shortly after she says, I have a boyfriend, or brings him up, 
and then go and post on your r slash red pill gym cell whatever the fuck it is being like i tried i tried to do the thing i said earlier right anyway his phone maybe he's looking at his phone to see how many seconds left before he has to do his next set what time is it? Did I miss any calls? Did I miss a message? He's perhaps just looking to get a hit of dopamine. I look at my phone at the gym all the time, whether something's going on it or not. Doesn't mean I'm pretending to look at my phone so that I can stare at someone for an extra few seconds. To be clear, these girls are really fucking annoying when they do this. Because, frankly, let's not kid ourselves here. She's wearing this kind of outfit on purpose to make this video. That I believe. Now, women who wear these kinds of outfits are not doing so so that people look at them in general. She is. She is. So they are annoying. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that they just keep milking this shit. I feel like I've been hearing about this for like a month at least, right? Like, shut up. Nobody cares anymore. All right, we've all moved on to the next meme. The second he decided to ask a question, his fate was sealed. He was getting shamed on TikTok for it. And so perhaps he's trying to be proactive and avoiding the embarrassment of using the machine that she's wanting to use. And he's being extra nice because after all, she doesn't have the right to reserve two separate machines, but maybe he's just being extra nice. Like, I can- You know the best part? By giving them attention, you're giving them exactly what they want. Okay, that's that's it. They knew that they would cause controversy with this. Their attention whore is just as much as you are, okay? And the fact that you're covering this over and over nonstop is exactly what they wanted. It's exactly what they wanted. I can use any machine. I want to use that one. But if you're about to use it in a couple minutes, I'll go somewhere else. And so why is that bad? Don't you think someone that's a little new to the gym would like to be super certain that he's not getting in anyone's way? And I'd like to go one step further. Imagine this. She's finished her workout, you've been training in the same gym, you notice each other, and you just find her interesting. Perhaps she's good looking or just she seems nice. And you're trying to make friends. There's nothing wrong with going up to someone and introducing yourself. Again, if you're a guy going up to a girl, you're not usually just trying to make friends, okay? Let's not kid ourselves. And saying, hi, my name is Greg, what's your name? I notice we work out at the same time. Are you training for a competition? What are your goals? Hello, my name is Greg. I noticed that you and I have workout schedules that seem to align within the day. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Uh, I Like, it's, it's very clear now why this guy can't get laid. Like, what the fuck are you doing? That's your approach, dude? That's your fucking... Like, you don't even talk to, like... You don't talk to anybody like that at all. The way you start a conversation with somebody is you either compliment their fucking form like somebody did for me today. Right. Uh, you Usually just a compliment works on anything, really. Um, ask them a question or just say hi. You know? I, I want to be clear, by the way. When I say that 99% of the time a guy going up to a girl in the gym is trying to smash, that is true. But saying hi is harmless. And as long as you're not... Like I said, as long as you're not clearly just trying to have sex with them then it's not it's not gonna do anything just be prepared to just be friends you know what i mean that's all just be prepared to just be friends and understand that you know she, she's probably not going to be interested what are your ambitions there's nothing wrong with making small contact and just being nice you're allowed to make friends. You have the same interests. And so just because somebody isn't a 10 or a Chad doesn't mean they don't have the right to say hi. If they're being insulting, rude, saying, oh, you have a nice ass or something inappropriate, then of course, guy's a creep, a weirdo. But if he says, hey, I like your outfit. I like your shoes. I like your hair. I noticed you trained harder than last time. That's you ever heard better. of that coach, Greg? I watched coach. You ever watch coach, Greg? I noticed you trained harder than last time. I've been, I've been watching you. I watched your form today. It was better than last week. Oh, you didn't know I was watching you last week. Oh, I was watching. I was watching. Been watching for a while now. You look good. So anyway, what are you doing later? <laughs> like, uh, I, I watched your hips today. Hmm. Mm. Your glutes have been developing nicely, I must say. I must say. Oh, clearly you wanted me to look at them and compl compliment them if uh, if you're wearing shorts like that. You wouldn't want me to just not look at your developed glutes. Your baby-making hips. <laughs> anyway. 
I mean, is it wrong to try to get laid? I think whether you're at the gym or somewhere else, you should just have a normal convo with someone, even if you're just trying to get laid. No, I, there's nothing wrong with wanting to get laid. I'm just saying the gym is not the place to do it. Like, there are so many other places you can go. And it's not like, you know, obviously you're not going to find, like, a muscle mommy usually at the, va- at the bar. But, you know, like, there are other ways and other places to go about that. And, um, frankly, like I said, if you're tactful, you can do it. But it's a it's a skill you have to practice. Like if you don't make a habit out of going up to people and just talking to them, then maybe don't. <laughs> like maybe don't start at the gym with somebody you're trying to fuck. You know what I mean? You, you got to walk before you learn to run. You have his cookbook? Nothing wrong with that. And so perhaps that is the greatest dating advice of all time. When you go and approach someone in the gym, find out first, do they watch Coach Greg? If they don't, stay away. That's a red flag. They don't watch Coach yeah, the red flag is not watching this guy. Oh, Greg, what's going on? Stay away, stay clear, void at all costs. But if they say yes, well, you got it made. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, like the God. video if you liked it. Please give me a like. I need the like. How the fuck does this guy have more like viewers than I do? I feel like I could do this shit easily. He does not sound like Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert, Gilbert Gottfried, I was about to do his voice, and then I didn't. Gilbert Gottfried is a, it sounds like a fucking god, okay? Gilbert Gottfried. Hence. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. And remember to hit the like button. If you do not, I will find you. You need the sus emote? I need a lot of emotes. Uh, tell Queen Laura to get on it. Also, the comment. Okay, yeah, I'm not watching the rest. Um, I was expecting more drama about Charlie. Like, Charlie just kind of seemed to be, like, uh, squeezed in there for no particular reason. He sounded like crazy dude that yelled at the street musician. Me, <sighs> the street musician in that viral video. I have not seen that. Can you link that? I'd like to put that in the video. Small, angry man yells at trumpet player in New York City. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. I love that he's like winding up as though he's about to hit him and then he doesn't. That's so fucking funny. Literally assaulting him? No, he's not. No, he's not. No! <laughs> That's great. He does sound like him. Get out. Where are you from? Where are you from? Go to a studio and rehearse. Maybe someday you'll learn. You suck. You're no talent piece of shit. Oh my God. You're supposed to act talented in order that everybody around you they want you to that. Get out! Imagine being this fucking miserable. He touched the trumpet player. Uh, isn't that almost assault? Oh, if he touched him, then that's, uh, I think, battery, right? Hold on. Uh, sorry. I know you guys want to see your... ADHD shit. Uh, battery. Criminal law. Battery is an unlawful application of force directly or indirectly upon another person or their personal belongings, causing bodily injury or offensive contact. An example of battery. If a woman pours a hot a mug of hot water on someone else, this could be battery. Any type of touching that the victim considers harmful or offensive can be sufficient. So I would call it battery rather than assault. Uh, assault is more like threatening. I think, in a harmful manner. Battery is usually more serious. Skip to 157, it gets closer to the camera. How dare you come down here? You know, artist. An artist respects the silence that serves the foundation of what creativity. What is wrong with this guy? You obviously don't have the talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people or what it is to express yourself. 
in music or any other form of creativity. And I'm an NYU film school graduate, sucker. And the school of the new arts. <laughs> and the Academy oh, sorry, of you guys University can't see of San it. Francisco. You suck. You are no talent. If you really had talent, go practice. And then get yourself a gig. Instead of ruining the end of the day for everybody down here. You disgrace. Why is he like you a fucking cartoon that's character? Wrong in this world. You are so consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit. <laughs> and I've earned my right to say it. Okay? I had 200,000 people. <laughs> in 1975. I feel like I'm watching The Simpsons. I walked Bob Dylan up on stage. Who the oh fuck are you? Oh my god. I knew the Grateful Dead. Pants are like up to his nips too, dude. What the fuck is this guy? I cannot believe I share chromosomes with this man. That's crazy. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again and I will see you all in the next video.